Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be putting on a custom ROM called Gender Blur onto my Motorola Atrix 4G. Now, uh, some of the prerequisites is that your Motorola Atrix must be rooted, and as far as I know, this Gender Blur is only made for the Motorola Atrix and only works for the Motorola Atrix. So I'll explain a little bit about that uh, later as my thoughts on that. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do actually is uh, install a few programs on here, download some files uh, before I actually get to updating the ROM. And for that, I will need my Windows computer. Here we are at the Ginger Blur uh, ROM for the Atrix 4G. And so uh, right over here where it says skip to download, I'll go ahead and click on that and it takes me down to the bottom and uh, the latest version of uh, the software is version 4.5 and uh, that's just the latest version of it right now it might be a later version when you're watching this video either way uh, click on that and it's going to start to download then uh, the installation guide you can also click on that uh, that's what I'm following right now okay Next, uh, we need to get the 10FAR CWM recovery for Motorola Atrix 4G, and the latest version is the Moto 4 Bootstrap uh, blah 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 yada yada dot APK. So go ahead and click on that uh, to download. So now that those two have uh, finished downloading, we've got the Ginger Blur, Blur ROM and the Bootstrap ROM. We first have to install the uh, bootstrap or the recovery system recovery file and basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to do a side loading since this is a, uh, a Motorola or AT&T phone I have to do side loading uh, of this APK you know, but that's fine it's it's a fairly simple process I'll just start this up and right now actually I should be plugging in the phone mm -hmm. Right, so there's the phone plugged in and it is very important that under USB connection it says that it's not mass storage that it's none right it's very important mm -hmm. that it is uh, none for mass storage because uh, the phone itself has to have its memory cards so we just wait for that to uh, prepare the memory cards once that's done, now we can sideload the Bootstrap app. All right, so first we're gonna click on Choose APK. And we're gonna find the APK, which is this one here. And if it's uh, already installed, be sure to check the Update button. I have it already installed on my on my phone, so I'm gonna click on the Update button. And so once I click on Install, it's gonna go ahead and install itself onto my phone right now as we speak. All right, so it's finished without any problems. Let's press on uh, any key to continue. And that's pretty much it for the computer side. Now uh, I actually have to copy this uh, Ginger Blur zip file onto my memory card that's on my phone. So I have to go back to my phone now. And what I'm gonna do is bring down the USB connection again. And then I need to choose USB mass storage. Mm -hmm. And what this is gonna do is that it's gonna mount my uh, SD cards onto my computer. And as you can see here, the first thing that popped up is the MB860, that's my internal memory. That's the memory built into the phone. I don't wanna use that one. I actually want to use the removable disk. This is my SD card, right? So I already have the Ginger Blur uh, zip file on there. You just drag and drop right onto the root of the SD card and it's already there it's good to go it's about 100 megabytes it takes like two or three minutes to copy onto your uh, SD card so uh, now that that's finished I can go ahead and close this and I can go ahead and unplug my phone from the computer but now I'm actually going to be plugging in the power to my phone from the wall charger, right? So this is not the USB from the computer. 
rather this is the wall charger it's very important that you have the wall charger plugged in okay so now the next app I want to run uh, applications is a program called system recovery which is right here so click on that all right so once I click on install recovery now normally your super user account again remember this is rooted uh, your super user account is going to ask for access this app is going to ask uh, super user for access and you can click on allow I have already done it so I'll need to do it again uh, so once that happens you'll see install success and then uh, you want to hit uh, install recovery again for good measure just to make sure and then you click on OK now you're gonna click on recovery mode and what this is going to do is going to reboot the phone into recovery mode. So we'll just wait until that happens and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I am at the recovery mode and what I need to go do is scroll down using the volume buttons, scroll down to install zip from SD card and you're going to press the back button up on the back here right and then you're going to want to choose zip from SD card which is the second option right and then here's that gender blur uh, 4-5 zip that I have there right and I'm going to like click on that the black button right here and then go to install to scroll down the reason why they have all those yes and no's is that uh, you, you make sure you know what you're doing. And uh, you click on install. And now it's going to go through this process of installing Ginger Blur. And there's a little bar that goes across there. Keep in mind uh, that this will erase many of the settings. It, uh, from what I've noticed, I have all my text messages, I have all my pictures. But uh, a lot of my settings, like uh, the, when the screen times out, a lot of system settings got reset and I had to redo all that and also all of my icons on my home screen uh, all of that went away the apps are still there all the programs are still there um, but uh, I had to place them all back onto the desktop and so this process right here uh, of updating takes about mm, about five minutes well as you see there it only took about a minute um, all right so now that it's done it says that it's complete. Install from SD card is complete. Uh, what you can do is uh, you go back right here, right? So we're at the back screen. And then you're going to click on Reboot System Now, which is the first option there. And then now the, com the phone's going to reboot. And this process, the first time, it took a scary long time. It was like maybe about 10 minutes for it to reboot. It was on this screen right here for a very long time. It was on this green um, uh, Motorola screen for a really long time. And it was on a Ginger Blur uh, load up logo screen for a very long time. So. It could take, the pro this process right here could take up upwards of uh, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna come back uh, when this process is finished. All right, so we're back and it's finished updating. Uh, I am now on Ginger Blur, even though I was already on Ginger Blur, but uh, hopefully you've arrived at this screen as well. And I can't seem to unlock my screen. Okay, um, so apparently it kept all of my icons there which before the first time it was actually all gone. Oop, just got an email. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Ginger Blur. Uh, one of my favorite features of this is being able to install apps now without having to uh, sideload them, which is awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, Ginger Blur. So my theories on this, the reason why it's only for this particular phone is because this particular ROM was taken from the uh, from the Samsung Galaxy no Samsung Nexus S yeah 
uh, because if I look here under the keyboards, where is it? It has swipe and swipe belongs to um, the Samsung family. And so uh, the in its rawest form, uh, gingerbread um, for the Google Nexus S phone, which is a Samsung phone, um, that I think that ROM was taken and modified to work with the Motorola Atrix. It was, you know, uh, all the necessary files and whatnot uh, were added into there to get it to work on the Motorola Atrix. So it's a modified. Uh, so it was a modified um, ROM uh, made for the Motorola Atrix. So that's why uh, I believe this ROM is actually from a Samsung. Uh, Nexus S. Alright, so I hope that all works out for you. Thanks for watching. Johnny the Geek out. Peace!